We end the weekend on a showery note, and as far as the weather goes, it's just another manic Monday, and uh, more heavy, rampant showers on the Well, I don't know if I'm on air or not, so gallery, over to you. He'll get some money from Auntie's Bloomers for that one. Now it's uh, just after half past nine, a summary of the main news. Now we'll have the weather forecast in a minute, and of course it'll be 100% accurate and provide all the detail you could possibly want. I've just seen Thomas Schaffernacker <laughs> preparing uh, for it, so I'm not in touch. Ah! Every now and then there's always one mistake. That was it. Now, would anyone want their very own weatherman? Well, one small village in West Yorkshire has now got exactly that. Yes, Simon Pansick's website predicts the microclimate for his village of Dugglesby. Right, well, somebody who we're not putting up for sale on eBay, well, it depends how he gets on in the next few minutes, actually. Thomas Schaffernagger with the weather forecast. I tell you what, if you're across northern parts of the UK and you look at the sunshine, don't fall in a well, sense of security. There we go. Lob myself into it. We're trying something clever. Sunshine and showers is the story of the day across uh, northern parts of the country. Anyway, the satellite picture revolves or reveals even a lot of cloud across northern parts of the UK. After you've had a, a few uh, bottles of other stuff beforehand. The scheme is slowly filling up with members with more than 100 growers on the books. It's hoping if the idea catches on, Bottles of English city wine could become a common sight on our supermarket shelves. Howard Johnson, BBC News. I love the comment, Thomas. You'd be all right after a couple of bottles of something else. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I tell you, I think the Met Office needs it this summer. But anyway, oops, I shouldn't have said that. That has got me into so much trouble now, I know. Anyway. Hi there, Karen. Well, this week, the weather's not looking in any great shape, has to be said. But admittedly, tomorrow's actually not looking pretty bad. Uh, uh, temperatures... Uh, about, hang on a minute, I've lost my train of thought. It's, it is looking pretty good. That's it. Right, that's it from us. Uh, let's get a weather update now. Thomas Schaffernacker is here. You've got a frozen ball there. I, oh, just the one. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, it's been very cold this morning. Uh, my car looked like a uh, block of ice, and I felt like an icicle. I suppose. Uh, cold and uh, sunny this morning and um, it looks as though the frost eventually will lift. It's still quite cold in a few places. Uh, how low did the temperatures go uh, last night? Probably down to, <laughs> God, excuse me, uh, minus six degrees Celsius. Kew Gardens minus four. Excuse me, I'm just hearing some laughter for some bizarre reason in my ear. Wittering minus three, that's in Cambridgeshire as well. Uh, so then today it'll be mostly uh, sunny across most parts of the country. Uh, there, there will be cloud across the north of the country. Uh, five degrees Celsius uh, in Manchester, three degrees in Newcastle, uh, eight degrees um, in Glasgow. Uh, quite brisk here. Um, and also quite uh, damp across Stornoway. Now let's zoom in across uh, to Wales, uh, seven degrees uh, across Cardiff as well, a reasonable sunny day um, with some sunshine around as well, quite brisk winds too. And let's have a look at the, uh, the Channel coastline then. Still some sunshine around too. Seven degrees, I'm doing pretty bad here, laughing my head off, aren't I? Six degrees Celsius in London as well. Now, if you're going to Huntingdon, this is at half past 12. Uh, four degrees Celsius, quite a sunny day as well. Let's have a look at the, uh, the rest of the afternoon and into the evening hours. It's not going to be quite so cold tonight. Temperatures aren't going to drop so low. There's still a bit of a frost around, and that's because uh, the clouds are increasing from the... Uh, from the southeast of the country. Two degrees in London rather than the minus four degrees that we had um, earlier on and minus one degrees in Newcastle. Okay, so finally, let's have a look at um, tomorrow morning then. Cloudy skies, a grey day, pretty much um, everywhere. Very different to today, actually. Uh, some misty and murky conditions around two temperatures of around about five degrees in London and ten degrees in Stornoway. So quite a big contrast uh, across the country. And as far as the next couple of days are concerned, it still is quite cloudy. The, the cloudy trend continues. It looks as though it will turn even colder across northern England, about three degrees or so. Sunday, no real difference. And uh, apologies for the, uh, the giggling earlier on. I swear it's not my fault. Bye-bye.
Uh, just a reminder that you can uh, keep your text coming on any of our main stories here today, 61124, the number. And I'm delighted to say okay. that there are lots so far this morning that just say Tomas Schaffernacker is the best weather presenter <laughs> on the BBC. But we always knew that. Hello. 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 ...for the industry and the growth of music online. Well, Guy Cuny is the editor of the technology website uh, News Wireless. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning. Were you surprised by this uh, verdict today? I'm very surprised to see this verdict to, to come on, on me because I was not expecting that. When I came, uh, they told me something else and I'm coming. You got an interview there, so it's a big surprise anyway. A big surprise. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, with regards to uh, the cost that's in, in, involved, um, do you think uh, now more people will be downloading online? Uh, actually, if you can go everywhere, you're going you're gonna to see a lot of people downloading to the internet uh, and the website, everything they want. But I think uh, it's, it's much better for the development and uh, to improve people what uh, they want and to get uh, on the easy way and so fast uh, the things they're looking for. This does really seem to be the way the music industry is progressing now, that people want to go onto the website and download music. Exactly. You can go everywhere on the cyber cafe and you can check. You can go easy. It's going to be a very easy way for everyone to get something to the internet. Thank you, Nee. Thanks very much indeed. I think we can uh, now also speak to uh, Rob Pitton, who's uh, at the... Uh, court uh, for us uh, this morning. Hello to you, uh, Rob. Um, what do you think this means for the, the, the future of the industry, the music industry? Well, I think we just heard there, first of all, it comes as something of a shock because in the, the previous times that these two people have been in court, well, Apple...